Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, peace and joy be with you. In a short while, we will be listening to the reflection from Father David Lemebo of the Missionaries of God's Love. Let's be open to the Holy Spirit and prepare our hearts so the Word of God will dwell richly in our lives today. My word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path and a light unto my path Jesus said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, You are Peter. And upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. Everyone has strengths and weaknesses, and so do the two giants of our faith, Saints Peter and Paul. Without Saint Peter, we have no leader after Christ ascended to heaven. Without Saint Paul, we who are an outsider from the Jewish religion will not know Christ. Both died as martyrs and witnesses of Christ in Rome, Italy at the hands of Emperor Nero. They were absolutely, absolutely amazing, though far from perfect. How did they turn their weaknesses into strengths? Saint Peter was a man who speaks before thinking. He often got carried away with emotion. His words were often out of place. He sometimes felt he knew better than Jesus. He even denied Jesus when he was crucified. Peter fell asleep when asked to pray with Jesus. He used force when he cut off the ear of a Roman soldier. But the same Peter was also the Peter whose preaching converted 3,000 people. The weak Peter is also the Peter whose shadow healed the sick. St. Paul was also a fiery man and thought he knew it all. He believed that the followers of Christ must be exterminated. He even approved the stoning of St. Peter, St. Stephen, the first martyr for Christ. He was the only one who was blinded by Christ, the only one who heard Christ's voice. Soul, soul, why do you persecute me? Because of his dark past, Jesus changed his name to Paul, just as Simon be became Cephas or Peter. But the same Paul was the Paul who wrote 14 letters which made up 14 books in the New Testament. The weak Paul was the Paul who received and endured 39 lashes five times and spent his life traveling as missionaries to all corners of the earth, even being stranded in a big storm. The weak Paul was also the Paul who raised Eutychus from the dead after falling from the third floor. Saint Paul and Saint Peter also had their share of disagreements. Saint Peter, as the leader of Christians, was once rebuked by Saint Paul for his discriminatory attitude towards Christ's followers by eating only with those of Jewish descent. But the differences and disagreements did not become stumbling blocks that divide the people they love. With humility, they walked together and received inputs from one another. Saint Paul so humbly asked Saint Peter for a wisdom for fo followers of Christ who are not familiar with Jewish traditions such as circumcision. It was dealt well and wisely so that the followers of Christ could continue to grow in their leadership. 
they both also went through a period of deep repentance. Peter, who denied Christ, truly repented and promised to be the shepherd of Christ's sheep. Peter, with all his frailty and humility, answered yes when asked three times by Christ, Do you love me? Paul, when asked by Christ, Why do you persecute me? Did not eat three days and three nights because of repentance. He was eventually baptized and his eyesight was restored. So St. Paul and St. Peter were people with many weaknesses. Even Paul once prayed, asking God to remove the thorn in his flesh. But God did not grant his request. Paul finally realized that in his weaknesses, he could feel God's strength. He also said that the only thing he can be proud of is his weakness. When I am weak, I am strong because of Christ who strengthens me. My brothers and sisters in Christ, our weakness is not our enemy. Our weakness is our friend because it is through our weaknesses that we learn to rely on God. It is through our weaknesses that we know who God is. It is through our weaknesses that we feel the strength that comes from God. Our enemy is our strength within ourselves. The strength of Peter and Paul early in their lives made them fall. But in their failures, they become humble and were finally able to become true witnesses of Christ. Their only strength comes from the door of their weaknesses where they completely rely on Christ Jesus. They trusted in Jesus. Jesus is their only source of hope and strength.